Hi everyone, my name is Eliza Averman, and welcome to Nearly Hanukkah Sparks. Something I'd like to focus on tonight is the miracles of Hanukkah. We know that we celebrate two miracles, the miracles of the defeat of the Yevani army that the Hashmonaim had, and the miracle of the Pach Hashemen in the Beit HaMikdash. Something that the, many of the commentators ask about these miracles is, which is primary? Which one do we celebrate more? Are they equal? Do they have, have similar themes that they express? How do we relate to this holiday and the two miracles that we celebrate? The Maharal, when discussing this issue, claims that the military battle that was won by the Hashmonaim was actually the primary miracle. According to him, the reason for the miracle of the Pach Hashemen was to help B'nai Israel refocus and remember that the military battle was not a battle that they won by themselves. Naturally, they could have thought, we had all this strength and we went and won this battle by ourselves. But the Pach Hashemen was there to remind them, no, it wasn't all them, it was Hashem and Hashem's hand in the battlefield with them. This highlights the element of Hanukkah, that the way we celebrate helps us realize the role that Hashem plays in our life. We can perhaps see this in the custom that many of us have, as taught us in the Shulchan Aruch, um, where after we light the Hanukkah candles, people spend a lot of time sitting by the Hanukkah candles and looking at the fire, um, sitting in the beauty of, of the warm light that it emanates. Rav Naftali Tzvi of Rapshitz in his Sefer Zara HaKodesh says that the reason for this strong minhag that we have is to fix our sense of, of sight, reminding us that in this world that we're living in, um, we do so many things all the time where we, we work, we take care of our families, and, and we have all these things that are going well for us and are reminding us to perceive the world through Hashem's lens, to perceive it and realize that Hashem is the one who's doing so many things for us and having an active role in our lives. With that, I hope you are able to enjoy this Hanukkah and um, revisit Hashem's role in your life and have a beautiful hug.